a tireless fighter for the liberties of the citizens of Maryland. A veteran of the U.S. Marines, Delegate Smeagol has consistently fought for the rights of gun owners and against the onslaught of state government, which has an insatiable appetite for more and more of our freedoms. This session, Delegate Smeagol was the principal architect of House Joint Resolution 2, Maryland Sovereignty under the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution, which would have affirmed our right as a state to opt out of the National Health Care Plan. Just last week, during a debate on the floor of the House of Delegates, Delegate Smeagol was quoted as saying, freedom is seldom lost in one fell swoop. It is lost one bill at a time. Please welcome Delegate Mike Smeagol. I want you to know that the fight not only is taking place in Washington, D.C., it's taking place here in Maryland. Yeah. They're marching towards socialism. Yes. And all of you out here today tell me we will not go quietly into that dark night of socialism. Yeah. We... Yeah. Last year, we said, how are we going to notify all the citizens coming out for these tea parties of just who is voting the correct way, who's not voting the correct way? And we came up with the idea and we put together a Liberty Scorecard. And what we do is we take certain votes from the Senate and the House and we put them together so you can look at it and you can say, here's a vote that was against my liberty and here's who voted for it and here's who voted against it. And so we had one in 2009 and the 2010 Liberty Scorecard will be out soon so all of you can look at it and objectively determine who is it that's working for us and who is it that's sending us into socialism? They told me to keep this short. I can only tell you that I'm extremely excited. Senator Pipkin and I just came from Washington, D.C., where we attended a rally, and it was wonderfully attended. Everybody was proud. Everybody was well-behaved. I didn't see no mobs. I didn't see no uh, fighting. It was wonderful, just like it is here. Everybody out to say, I'm a proud American. I want my country back, and I'm going to do what's necessary to get it back. Yeah. And what I want you to do... I'm going to leave you with one last thought. In our Constitution here in Maryland, we have a Declaration of Rights. And that Declaration of Rights tells every one of you in Article 6 just what you should be doing when your government is not being responsive. And Article 6 of the Declaration of Rights here in Maryland says that all persons who are invested with legislative or executive powers of government are trustees of the public and as such they are accountable for their conduct. Yeah. Yeah. Wherefore, whenever the ends of government are perverted and public liberty is manifestly endangered and all other means of redress are ineffectual, the people may and of right ought to reform the old and establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary oppression and power is absurd, slavish, and destructive of the good and happiness of man. That is what your Article 6 tells you to do. Thank you all. We can't do it in the legislature without all of you making the phone calls, making the pressure, and getting on the, le the legislators who are with the majority party who are saying, we don't want to pay attention to the Constitution. We don't want to pay attention to democracy. We don't want to pay attention to the principles of capitalism. When did profit become a dirty word? So I ask all of you, keep it up in November. November is going to be the turning point. We can save this country. All of you, keep up the energy. Come out in November. Help us elect conservative principles once again and take our country back. Thank you.